It's a peaceful snapshot into Howard Beach the evening of August 2nd. 30 year old Karina Vetrano listening to music on her daily run. For her father, Phil, it's an image marred by knowledge of what happened next, off camera. Hours later, he would find her body inside Spring Creek Park. It's very disturbing to watch that, you know. To see her like that. The new surveillance video is the latest development released in the unsolved sexual assault and murder case. Obtained by Crime Watch Daily, it was aired nationally. A large viewing audience with new eyes on the case, now six weeks old. Not knowing who committed this crime, you never know in the sense of somebody in Arkansas someplace that may hear something about it and come forward with a piece of information. While it doesn't show a suspect, it doesn't show anybody following her, it doesn't show anybody in a car behind her. Phil Vetrano is hopeful the video, paired with this sketch of a person of interest, a possible witness who could crack the case open, and a DNA profile collected from the victim's fingernails, the case is slowly but surely coming together. I will leave no stone unturned and I will not stop because I'm coming. In the neighborhood closest to the crime, the amount of attention on this case has never waned. Everybody talks about it. You know, you look around, you see the white bows all over the neighborhoods. Always, you know, um, in people's minds, you know. It's just a terrible, terrible thing. As the weeks pass without an arrest, the monetary incentive to speak up grows. Donations from the Vetrano family GoFundMe account, paired with money from the NYPD and mayor, has grown this reward to more than $310,000. In Howard Beach, Magdalena Doris, CBS 2 News. The Vetrano family tells us they're considering the possibility of hiring a private investigator to look into their daughter's unsolved murder as well.